Burleson County, like any other place on the map, has its share of history. But New Star 3's Charlie Haldman recently found a unique piece of walking history with a musical knack. Here's the story of a man, his fiddle, and some wild tales of days gone by. Yo. Yeah, if I'd practice violin every day, I'd be all right. But I didn't play for so long already. I used to play seven days out of my knee week when I was a young boy at home. It was a chilly, wet October day when we ventured out to the new Tabor community in Burleson County. That's where we found Harry Zeese, where he was the star of his own party. Ready? This announcement inviting people to his 90th birthday was in the local paper, but that was almost 10 years ago. Today, Zeese is 99 years old. The story may not seem all that amazing, but family members point to the story of their patriarch's violin playing as a young man. Zeese played until his 30th birthday and gave it up for 50 years. I forgot all about that music now that I used to play. We soon found out there was more to the story of the man and his fiddle. Did the parties last too long back then? Oh, yeah. <laughs> How long did they last? You mean the dances? Yes, sir. Sometime I'd come home at daylight. <laughs> That's the way we have them dances those days. They dance all night long. Did your wife get mad? As long as that bootleg whiskey was there, they danced. <laughs> they wouldn't go home. That bootleg whiskey kept them a-going. Did you know any bootleggers personally? Did you know any bootleggers run around there? Oh, I was one of them. <laughs> After giving up the music and running the whiskey, Z settled down. He had 11 children and a full life. He retired from the railroad and again from the Keller Chair Factory assembly line. Z says the first to admit he's no virtuoso on the violin. That violin no, that I played tonight, it didn't have the right. If I'd have had my violin here, I could have done lots better. It, it, it's got a round post. It sits in the inside of the violin under the bridge. If you don't have that, your violin don't have no sound. But playing lost tunes like the Deanville Waltz probably aren't meant to be played by a five-piece band. The story and the sound of Harry Zeese and his fiddle was exactly what the people had come to hear, just like they did in 1938. How was it? Bad old boys. It was, it was great. great. Yeah. Good. Thank you all. Charlie Haldeman, New Star 3. Unbelievable. What a, what a wonderful story. Well, if you use a Microsoft operating system, you... Proven. Well, uh, we find Mike Alvin overly annoying sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, what was that all about? Fix my computer, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the Harry Z story uh, from over there in Burleson Fantastic. County. My goodness, what a story. He's down some black eyed peas and cornbread in his day. It, it, Not it to mention, sounds, sounds like a little boot like whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> now, he didn't say he was drinking it, though. He was just making it. Yeah, he didn't, and, and he let didn't me tell play. you, of all, the, of all the people we had, it's no, it's no offense, but... Lindsay Lippman or Eric Watson was not the person to go do that story. It was only Charlie Haldeman. Absolutely. Because well, yeah. <laughs> that's where he's raised in that type of decab tech. You send people that's from right. decab there. That's so, well, and anyway. it said that uh, Mr. Zeese retired from the railroad. I believe Charlie's dad is with the railroad. So I right. mean, it all sort of all sort of works in. <laughs> oh, man, what a great story. All right. It's uh, 10 minutes after 6 right now. And uh, joining us from the Weather Center, of course, is Travis Herzog with a check. Of